Good morning and welcome to the Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. So today I want to do a full length video lecture on the Barnstone Studios and some of the products that they offer. As I mentioned before, I started out back in two, 2008 learning composition with the Barnstone Studios DVDs and I'll talk about those today and I'll review them. And even though I don't really teach much dynamic symmetry information anymore. I think it's important to at least do a review on these products because of of the industry and the way it stands now. It, it's very confusing and I've talked about this before as well. It's sort of, the, the industry right now is basically repackaged Barnstone, but the information and the repackaging is not nearly as good as the authentic Barnstone products. And that's the other reason I want to do a video lecture too, because for those that want to get the most for their money, and for those that want to get into dynamic symmetry, these are going to be the best products that you can find. And I don't recommend a lot of products on dynamic symmetry because there's there's not a lot out there that's very good. But the Barnstone Studios DVDs and, of course, Mikhail Jacobs' book, The Art of Composition, A Simple Application of Dynamic Symmetry. Those right now are the best resources along with Classical Painting Atelier, which is Juliet Aristides book. It's only a few items, but it's enough to get the artist started that wants to learn more about this arena of design. And of course, as I always recommend, I don't recommend starting with dynamic symmetry. Through the years after learning the harmonic armature, I, I realized that there's, there's a good approach to learning this information because Unfortunately, what's happened in the industry is everything was sort of pigeonholed into dynamic symmetry. And there's many ways you can design. You have the harmonic armature and you have dynamic symmetry and you have other systems of design out there. But there's an easier path to learning this information and that's starting with the harmonic armature. If you want to learn more about that, download my free user's guide. I talk heavily about that on my website now because I think it's the best system to learn when you're first starting out. It's definitely much easier. But let me go through... Uh, the Barnstone Studios website and talk about some of the DVD products and the downloads, etc. All right, so if you go up to the tab Art Education and click on Courses, this brings you to all of Myron's video lessons. You have downloads, DVDs, and a subscription. I purchased the DVDs, and even though the videos are all the same, I think the DVDs have better visual quality. They're definitely a little bit better than the downloads, but obviously the downloads, you can get them instantly, which is an advantage in itself. But let me just go through the DVDs and quickly review them. The way they have this set up, you can buy them in individual sets or you can buy them sort of boxed together. And the first tab they have here is the complete video series. This is all the DVDs together. Okay, and obviously this is going to be your best price point. It's $5.95. When I first purchased uh, the DVD set, the, the drawing series that I did, it was $4.99. So clearly, if you can get all these videos for $5.95, that's the best deal. And then, of course, you have another uh, way to package it. You know, some of these DVDs, it's a complete figure drawing course. But let me just give an example here. This is not the entire set. This is basically the drawing series, the um, the golden section and a figure drawing DVD, but again, it's not all of them. So you just have to be careful about, you know, how they're packaged and what you're looking for. All right. So the introduction to drawing system six disc DVD set. I started with this. It's now four twenty five. Like I said, it was four ninety nine when I bought it. Just one thing to point out, though, it's not six DVDs. It's a, it's five DVDs and one CD. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's labeled. It's a little bit misleading, not not intentionally, but you know, just I just want to point out that you're getting five DVDs and one CD in this. I started with this. This was basically my introduction to art education and dynamic symmetry in the art of composition. I watched these for years. There is a ton of information in these DVDs. It is really jam-packed with a lot of information. I don't generally recommend these DVDs for beginners because there is so much information. I recommend 
these DVDs for the advanced student, somebody that has read Mikhail Jacobs' book on dynamic symmetry, which I think is a great place to start. And then going into the DVDs, it's just an easier way to learn this information. If you start out with information that's a bit overwhelming, chances are you're not going to follow it through. Again, I watch these every day religiously for years, so I learned a lot, but you really have to be willing to dive into them to get the most out of it. In the six, uh, six, in the five DVD set, there's two lessons on dynamic symmetry, lesson seven and lesson 10. I think lesson seven is the best lesson out there when it comes to dynamic symmetry. Lesson 10 is good, but Myron gets into the overlapping root rectangles. And the problem with that is that he doesn't really explain how to use that system. It is incredibly complex. I don't teach it because it's so complex. And I don't know a lot of artists that are using it or would even admit that they're using it. I know maybe one or two, but it is such a complicated way to design a work of art. I recommend those starting out in dynamic symmetry using straight root rectangles. And again, that comes from Mikhail Jacobs' book, The Art of Composition, A Simple Application of Dynamic Symmetry. But in lesson seven, the reason I think it's the best lesson is because he explains what dynamic symmetry is in the most basic um, he lays it out in the most basic way. And at the end of seven, there's a 12-minute video clip of Myron using a root two, a dynamic symmetry rectangle, composing three bottles. That, I think, explains a lot of what's in Mikhail Jacobs' book, and it, it puts it in a way that makes sense. When you get into lesson 10, basically what lesson 10 is is a history lesson on dynamic symmetry and then just a bunch of slides showing overlapped root rectangles and all that that's very difficult to learn that way i never learned it by that means alone and like i said the, the system of overlapping root rectangles it's so damn complex that i I, just, I won't even bother to teach it because one i couldn't find anybody that's interested in it because it's too hard and it's not necessary so that's just something to keep in mind but Within these DVDs, they it's not just about design. It's about all the different concepts of, of learning how to see and um, a, a whole series of, of different art techniques that the artist and photographer can use. I'm a photographer, and I did find this stuff very interesting. And the DVDs are great. They're worth the money, but just understand that it's going to take time to go through all this information, and you have to really be patient. All right, so that's the drawing. That's the drawing system set I started out with. Then, if I go down here, you've got the palette control and color theory. I do own this, but for photographers, photographers are not going to be interested in this. This is based on the Frank Morley Fletcher system of color, and Dot Bun teaches a condensed version of this information. I I liked the DVDs. The only gripe that I have with it is the first lesson. It's, it's a bit drawn out, and there's so many backstories to the first lesson that you tend to lose where you are when it comes to the actual teaching the information. Myron has a lot of backstories because he, <laughs> he's done so much through the years that when he teaches, he tells a lot of stories. But in the, like I said, in the first lesson, there, there's a little bit too much of that. And then as, as the DVDs pick up, then you, know, then you start getting to the, the heart of the information. But... For like I said, photographers are not going to be really interested in this information because you have a very in, in photography you don't have as much control as you do in um, in painting when it comes to drawing and painting. So that's just my opinion on that. It is a great set of DVDs if you want to learn color theory, and the price actually isn't bad. I think I paid maybe three ninety nine for it, so the price has dropped, and I think you can get a discount now as well. So it's definitely worth the money. All right, golden section, Unlocking the Secrets of Design DVD. This was Myron's last lecture. I this was, this was not a favorite of mine, and there's a few reasons for this. One, there's some technical issues with the video. The About halfway through or so, maybe three-quarters of the way through, 
it looks like the the person operating the video left the room because there's a segment where Myron's talking and you can't see him. It's just a blank uh, board. And the other issue I have is everything that he talks about in this video is covered in the Drawing Systems DVD. So this, unless you're buying this for uh, historical purposes, meaning because it was his last lecture that he did, it's relevant, but as far as information goes, you're not getting anything more than you would in the Drawling DVD series. So you can kind of save yourself $79. But if you obviously, if you want to complete the collection, then you know it, it's worth it in that regard. But uh, this it wasn't one of my favorite ones. There's some there's some good information, but again, it's not something that you didn't learn in the Drawling. DVD course. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, pick up the original five DVD and one CD set. Introduction to figure drawing. I like this one, but uh, again, this wasn't one of my favorite ones. I, I bought it because I wanted to complete the collection. Again, a lot of this information is covered in the first drawing dvd series but it, it's definitely it's it's worth buying and you you know if you want to complete the collection i would pick this one up after start with the drawing dvd series if you're interested in these in this information and then if you want to complete the collection this one it's definitely a good dvd to add there's no doubt about it because he does give some historical references and there's a little bit more information that's added to the drawing dvd set the, the only thing that i didn't like about this. Myron criticizes the Atelier movement and the beginning of the DVD, and that didn't really settle well with me. But outside of that, if you like, I overlooked that. It's a great DVD. I mean, you know, all his DVDs are fantastic. Um, this is one I would purchase after possibly the drawing DVD set and color theory, etc. So it's definitely worth adding to the collection. It's not badly priced, $79. dollars. It's 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 definitely worth it. So you can check that out as well. All right, you can also, as I said, you can get these in downloads. I do actually have all the downloads as well. And again, the video quality is not as good, but obviously you can get them instantly, which is nice. I think you can buy them individually. If, if for those, let me just check here. Yeah, it looks like you can buy them individually. If you're interested in specifically dynamic symmetry, I would start with this one, Lesson 7. Again, Lesson 7 gives a great introduction to dynamic symmetry, the root rectangle. Uh, root 2, which is the easiest one to start out with. And it, it's a great video to supplement Mikhail Jacobs' book, The Art of Composition, A Simple Application of Dynamic Symmetry. Like I said, there is there is just not a lot of good information out there on dynamic symmetry. And you're dealing with a lot of online repackaged Barnstone stuff that is not nearly as good as the original authentic Barnstone teachings. It, it, it's, it's really interesting because I've been following what's been going on since 2008. And the dynamic symmetry arena, it's a train wreck. It's really bad. And it's incredibly difficult to cipher out what's, what is good and what is bad. I, I know what's good and what's bad because I, I've been uh, studying this information for so long and I'm aware of all the uh, dynamics that are involved in the teachings now because I was involved early on in all of this. So... Finding really good, authentic, dynamic symmetry products is difficult, but this is what I recommend. Mikhail Jacobs' book, start with that, and then if you want to learn more about dynamic symmetry, go into Lesson 7. You can download individual classes. This is the best way to start. If you don't want to invest in the full DVD series, you know this will also give you a little bit of taste of his teachings to see if you even like them or not. So you're not investing a lot of money, but that's where I would start in the dynamic symmetry arena. All right, so let me just poke around here a little bit and just point out a few other things on his website, Myron's website. All right, the I'm not going to get much into the art supplies. He does uh, 
because Myron passed away, there's a few of the students that are teaching his information now. I can't comment on that because I don't really know who the artists are, so I won't comment on that. Um, the I do believe he has a blog here, though, somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. All right, so I'm on his resources page. A lot of this stuff, I mean, all this I think you can download for free, which is good. Some of it, when you go through the recommended reading, some of this, it, it's really heavy-handed. Like he has Jay Hamage's books in here, and I don't like Jay Hamage's books. I think they're really dull. If if <laughs> there, there is one Hamage book that I think isn't bad, but for the most part, they're just really dull. Like the elements of dynamic symmetry, all it is is showing how to make root rectangles, how to create root, rec root rectangles. Jacob shows you how to do that, but he actually shows you how to apply it. So, I mean, if you're looking for a book that'll you know put you to sleep, definitely pick up the elements of dynamic symmetry. Again, a lot of this stuff is heavy handed. I don't recommend this for beginner. Uh, Myron does have a blog. There's some really good article articles on Myron's blog but I you know I have to point out is that some of these were not written by Myron and it's pretty obvious which ones were not when you go through and read them for example the pendulum has swung this is Myron this this uh, the elusive period this mind the figure around relationship is not gamut being used is not um, you can tell by how Myron was an exceptional writer and a lot of these for example, be an original artist. I think this is a terrible, you know, blog. Myron didn't write this. And when you're going through his blog, you just have to really be careful about what was written by Myron and what was not. And it's pretty obvious which ones were not. I, I thought this was a terrible article. And some of these I, I don't particularly like because Myron didn't write them. It doesn't fit his style or his his style of writing or anything else or the quality of his writing. So you just have to be careful. But there's a lot of good information on his blog. So also Wednesdays with uh, Myron. This is This is interesting stuff right here. I've read some of these. Actually, I believe I've read all of them. There's a, there's a lot on this website, so definitely check it out. But again, I'll wrap this up simply by saying if you're really looking for authentic dynamic symmetry products, invest the money in the Barnstone DVDs or the downloads, etc. If you have any questions about any of these, drop me an email and I'd be happy to get back to you.